One quick thing before we leave, it's just it's uh, something else. We got Christmas coming, and, and I'm not going to see y'all until, I guess, it's the December 20th today. I won't see you until after Christmas. And uh, here's something I want to say. You know, I hope you have a good time with your family and your friends. I want to remind everyone, though, that Christmas in America is a commercialized time of year that has been mixed up with a lot of paganism. And the more you study God's Word, the more you'll, the more you'll see it. I do not believe in the spirit of Christmas, and Santa Claus is not coming to town. I believe in the Holy Spirit of God, and Jesus is coming to town, and He's coming soon. So we need to strip ourselves of traditions that only serve to block the view of Jesus Christ. I know you're thinking, but Christmas is to celebrate Jesus' birth. Yes, I know that's the intended reason. But it stops short of Jesus' death and burial and his resurrection. Like I just said, the resurrection is where the power is at. The reason to really celebrate is in the truth that he was raised up to life. Defeating death so that we could be two. That's where the celebration is at. That's where the celebration is at. People today, they want to keep Jesus little. They want to keep him this little child in the manger, and they stop at that. They don't want to let Jesus grow up to go to Jerusalem, as we're reading here in Luke 20, so that he could die on the cross for the sins of the world. If Christmas included the full story, then repentance would be required. People don't want repentance. They want to keep Jesus little. They don't want to think that he was brought here to be killed horribly. They want to keep it cute. So if you really want to celebrate Jesus, celebrate the fact that he was resurrected, because we are too. Let's keep the real Jesus on display. Jesus had a sharp thing to say about this in Matthew 7, 13, about traditions. He said in Mark 7, 13, I don't know if I had that, or, I didn't, okay. In Mark 7, 13, he said, you make the word of God of no effect through your tradition." which you have handed down. In other words, our traditions have been designed in such a way to try to cancel God's word out of our lives. Don't let that happen this year. So during this week, don't let man's traditions take priority above your responsibility to represent Jesus Christ and what he came here to do. To die for us that we might be saved. That's all I had to say about Christmas and thanks for hearing me out. Thank y'all so much for coming. Hope you're blessed by it, and I'll be around if you got any questions. I know this was a tough one, so thank y'all. We'll see you.